I'm Susan McMillan and I'm here for the Public Library in Rochester, Minnesota and I love to read. I got that from my mother. As a child she was wonderful about reading and at night she would sit my five brothers and sisters and I down and read us stories, fairy tales, nursery rhymes and it just made me fall in love with reading and writing. Um, so today I'm going to read two of my own poems. Uh, the first one is from a book called Poetic Strokes, and this is published by Southeast Minnesota Libraries Cooperating, and this book can be found at the Rochester Public Library. The first poem is, the title is Poetry Sucks, and it's a poem about reading poetry. In long love volumes I thumbed pages, looking for that one about mice clutching matches, crawling through walls of an old house. On the way, I found Ted Kooser on one of his morning walks, got lost in his shadows and vapors, those brushy hollows filled with birds. Lumbers in Bill Holm getting by with everything along with the rest of his dead. Thus disembodied, I drifted through kitchens of Minnesota farmsteads, then flew eastward to Mary Oliver's wood-dappled blackberry patch, where in summer she plucks and eats ripe gobs off thorny branches. Now my whole day is shot, used up just like that, and I've missed my two o'clock date. Never even gotten dressed or eaten a thing, not answered the phone. God, how poetry sucks me in. The second poem I'm going to read is from volume 19 of The Talking Stick. It's called Forgotten Roads, and this is published by a writer's group called the Jack Pine Writer's Block up in northern Minnesota. And this poem is a piece about writing poetry. The title is Anthology. This day, a poem. The hoarfrost glistening white. Edges of every limb and weed softened by beards of lace. Skeletons of dead summer parsnip blossoms now bursting fireworks. Silver plumes against needly curtains of blackest spruce decked out in wintertime garb. This life, the collected works. Anthology of Poem Days, 365 various themes times 54 years and counting. How many is that? How many days of rubber-soled kids' shoes scraping, climbing limbs of old apple trees snowy in bloom, knees bent, upside down hanging, fingertips brushing spiky grass, dripping green, the world bottom up. How many nights waiting fallow fields, tall soppy grass heads slapping bare calves, while fog gathers slow and cool in the twilight, rising in blankets of spiderweb film. How many walks on the rocky shore, bare feet bruised and blue with cold, Gitchy Gumi grumbling away in ancient and rattly voice from the deep, his fresh breath strong from the north. How many more strides of this body of mine, the kick and glide of my skis singing the only song in this snow along freshly groomed trails, bless someone for that where I move between a river and trees. Each moment a stanza, punctuated by glint of glittering diamonds haphazardly strewn. With the rabbit's tracks, I gather them up, and tomorrow, write them all down. 